Hi there everybody, Ollie here, aka Secret Nimbus, here with another Feed the Beast Ultimate Let's Play video. So at the end of my last episode, I had, uh, what did I just do? Yes, I had made a geothermal generator, uh, made a bat box to store some, store some electricity in, and uh, hook, hooked that all up to my system, and went, uh, went and gathered lava, lava as well by making a hazmat suit. So I had a much better system, and in the meantime, since that last video, I have actually expanded my house out quite a considerable amount, sorted all my storage chest out which I still need to label up with some uh what are they called signs um and I, I am going to re because this is this sort of where this uh, light wood is is where the old confines of my little shack were this is where my machines still are so as soon as this um I basically filled up this bat box and as soon as this is run down I'm going to pick it up which basically means that I can sort of set up a whole new system along this wall here but the thing I really wanted to do in this video was actually uh, take a quick trip to the nether because uh, I could do with some glowstone to um, to Ah, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, I basically need glowstone for some of the recipes in a bit, so I thought I may as well have a quick trip to the nether, nether see what I can find, uh, pick up some lava while I'm there, as I do need a bit more, um, see what other goodies I can find, because there's quite a few nether ores. You've got to be careful about nether, nether ores, though, because uh, the zombie pigmen do not respond well to... Oh, you are kidding me. Uh, never mind. It can stay there. I've got plenty of spare obsidian. Um... I, and I don't have a diamond pickaxe to pick this up. I basically made uh, this obsidian using the uh, shard of minium, minium, which is the only leftover part of uh, equivalent exchange left over from uh, e equivalent exchange two. So that's my uh, nether portal in place. And I've just realised that I don't actually have anything to set it on fire with. So I'm going to run back quick and make myself a uh, a, flint, a flint and tinder so that I can actually um, activate my nether portal to go through. So let me just grab. Is there any flint in there? No. I do I do need a bit of iron though. There we are. I've got I've been smelting like loads of my ingots as well, so I've got an absolute ton of iron, gold, copper, tin, so uh, I'm all set I'm all set really. Uh, let's just dump you in there. I think the flint might be in this chest over here, which is sort of my miscellaneous items and a lot to do with thorncraft. Can I see flint there? Flint, 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 flint. Uh no, I can't see flint in there. Oh no, actually, I think I know where I've put it. I think I've put it in uh, this sort of uh, valuable items chest. So, oh, let's not go into the menu. Let's drop that back in there. Uh, let's grab some. Ooh, I only want one flint and tinder. Ah, oh, there we go. Yep, flint and steel, even. Let's dump the rest of that flint back in there. And let's head out to the nether. Oh, before I go, I do actually want to make myself a few tools to take with me. Um, what, I, what I'm actually going to make is some. Um, what I found out is that I can actually use some quartz that I found to make uh, to make tools. It's it's cut, they're they're as strong as iron tools, which is all I really need to go there. Um, they're they're as strong and and strong and as durable as iron tools, but you don't waste uh, like uh, iron or or like sort of gems to make them. So I just wanted to make a spare pickaxe and a spare and a spare sword because uh, if I'm mining um, if I'm mining what's it called um glowstone in the nether then um what's the word i'm looking for it is quick it's quickest to use a sword so i tend to bash it with a sword so i thought maybe i make a spare sword and a spare pickaxe as well um yeah let's uh let's jump through into the nether let's light it there we are made myself a nether portal here we go we need to go achievement we need to go deeper i'm going to the nether Hopefully this won't crash the game. Come on. This is the first time I've been to the nether, so this could be an uh, interesting loading time. Here we go. Finally here. Oh, Christ. That was a close one. So, uh, good job I've got some dirt with me here as I... Oh, my God. This this nether, this nether rack with this text pack on is actually terrifying. So, first things first, I am going to make a waypoint. New waypoint. Nether... Oh, no, I've got caps lock on. Never exit. This basically means I can't actually lose where I'm going now. Ah, oh, never exco. Oh, that'll do. No, 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 let's, let's edit it, because I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to have a spurge moment. So uh, that's that's my nether exit in place. And what I actually want to do is... Uh, well, this is something I haven't showed you yet. This is my canvas bag. So basically what it does is it gives me a whole other inventory slot. Uh, it's a whole other sort of uh, inventory space. But it only takes up one, in one inventory space, which is quite cool. So uh, I get like a ton more storage uh, by only taking up one block. What I'm going to do is, because I'm in the nether, 
I'm putting my hazmat. I'm putting my hazmat suit on because if I fall in lava, I don't want to die immediately. Um, so where's the best place to go? See, these are, these are nether rules if you've never played with a sort of um, if you've never been in here before with a sort of a load of mods. So these are just basically the same ores, but just sort of mined into nether rack. So, but you don't you want to you want to try and avoid mining them because you can you can really pee off uh, zombie pigmen when you try and when you try and mine them. So, uh, what, I, what, what I used to find, there used to be a bit of a, a bit of a glitch with um, when I was used to be playing Tech It, where if you were doing it with a mining laser, then it didn't actually used to anger the zombie pigmen. So, uh, it was a much better way of uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Mining them. You could just come in, come in here with a with a mining laser, which basically meant that you could mine mine away. Come in, come in with a come in, come in here with a mining laser and uh, a Swiss ball spreading gale. You could go around. And you could just absolutely rinse the Nether for tons and tons of ore. Now, where's the best place to actually uh, grab glowstone from? I'm trying to find a, a good good deposit. I think I'm near to a Nether fortress here, which is quite lucky. Although uh, I would say I'd do that one, but it's like hanging right over a. Uh, a pool of lava, so uh, it's not ideal. Try to see if there's anywhere else that's a, that's a good place to. I can hear a gas as well. That is not cool. Tell you what, I might jump into there because I can swim in lava with my with my hazmat suit on. I'm not burning to death. <laughs> awesome. I can uh, sort of just. This 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 is the bonus of the hazmat suit. Just cool things like that. Basically allows me to just swim in lava. I don't know about I don't know about fire though. I think it, I think it gives me fire with this. So yeah, I'm trying to avoid uh, mining nether ores because uh, these zombie pigmen will get very angry with me. And gas are horrible enough without having an entire army of zombie pigmen trying to eat your brains at the same time. So are, are, are there any decent? Uh, oh, that that looks that looks fairly decent. So let's see if I can just block this up slightly. Nope, that's uh, coming this way. Let's uh, dirt dirt this all off. I can still hear a gas, and I don't like it very much. So let's start bashing away at this glowstone. Start collecting it. Oh Christ! It's uh, falling, falling, falling into the uh, into the lava down here, which is what I don't really want. So uh, let's uh, block that off a little bit. Grab some glowstone. I think uh, just grabbing this entire deposit will probably be enough for now. Until I can come back and actually get myself some. Because I do, I do plan on building myself a a modular power suit with sort of like flight control and things like that, which would be quite cool in terms of uh, getting around. But it's it's not it's not quite as uh, useful as like creative creative mode flying or the old swift swift wolf swift wolf running gale from Tech It. But from what I've seen uh, from uh, other people's uh, experiences with Feed the Beast, it's uh, it's not bad, and it's uh, sort of a relatively cheap way of uh, get, getting getting flight as well. So. It's definitely, definitely be something I have to come back and do once uh, once I have that ability. So that's uh, this deposit. I can hear a, I can still hear a gas. They're like terrifying whales. Is there any more glowstone I can get? There's like some up there, but that would require like some hefty hefty nerd polling. Which uh, oh, that's a bit easy to get. Do that one right there. So uh, let's let's go to that one. But like that particular vein of uh, glowstone. Tell you what, let's, let's let's grab some nether rack, which we'll uh, use that to nerd pole with instead, because it's uh, a bit cheaper than dirt in the nether. Grab a load. I can use it to build out of later on as well. Even though it's got this sort of terrifying anim anim animation mo motion uh, on this texture pack at the moment, which is uh, awesome. At the same time, actually terrifying. So let's grab a load of nether rack and let's nerd pole up to that deposit. I can hear gas. I hate their little that terrifying little whine it's gonna really creep me out the entire time i'm here until i finally leave here which is gonna be very soon because uh, i'm just grabbing this last vein of glowstone and then buggering off as quickly as possible if i didn't need it for some recipes i wouldn't even bother coming here but so that's uh, that vein taken care of Let's regather this uh, netherrack here gather all my glowstone that i've dropped on the floor marvelous and let's just grab a uh, ton more netherrack while I'm here. Get my quartz. Oh, nope, I want my quartz pickaxe there. There we are. So yeah, it's pretty. Still, still pretty quick. This quartz pickaxe. It's pretty handy. I just wanted it to bring it with me. Uh, so just to save a few sort of gems and stuff while I was here. 
I mean, they could go after that deposit as well, but it require like some hefty. Uh... Oh, let's not fall down there. Let's take this a bit, take this a bit more carefully. Oh yeah, while I'm here, what I also want to do is grab a ton of lava because uh, I'm in the Nether. You know, lava's in abundance here. Why the hell not? I can go, I can go swimming around in it. So, uh... oh, this is fun. It's an interesting experience swimming in lava. It's not something that you uh, do very often uh, in Minecraft because uh, I don't think you can really do it in vanilla because uh, you don't have something like this hazmat suit, which basically allows you to, uh, I suppose, cheat very slightly, but it's not really cheating as it's part of the mod. So uh, I'm just taking advantage of the game, so to say. I just want to fill up all these cells with uh, lava for my geothermal generator because uh, I'm, I'm in the nether, unlimited lava. Why the hell not? Very useful. Because what I, what I probably will do later on is build uh, either some ender tanks or te or sort of a liquid test rack, which will actually allow me to um, pump lava directly from the Nether by using a couple of different other machines as well, uh, such as a, a pump and other cool stuff, which which is a uh, which will basically provide me with a pretty much unlimited source of lava if I can pump pump it directly from the Nether. So. Something I'm interested in doing later on, as well as other cool power sources like nuclear power. So uh, my, uh, that'd, be, that'd be something I do down the line. I'm sure it'd be quite a, quite a cool video to show you uh, me ab uh, abusing abusing free lava from the Nether. So let's head back. I've, I've accomplished what I came here to do, which is grab some glowstone, grab some Nether rack, and grab myself some free lava. So I mean, I'm getting turned around here. My home's over there. Let's uh, defend myself with a sword. I can see a spider there. I think he wants my blurred. Uh, there's a creeper nearby according to the mini-map, so I want to get inside. Pretty pronto. Cool. So, uh, mission accomplished there. Let's uh, drop the nether rack in here. Glowstone in here. The lava cells in here. Um, let's get my canvas bag back to here so I can put my spare sword in here. Yep, that'll do for now. And put my flint and tinder there, in there as well. I think I'll drop my spider eye in sort of the uh, miscellaneous thorncrafty kind of chest. So uh, what I want to do for the second part of this video is to actually dismantle this, dismantle this whole setup here and then basically set it up along here with some obsidian pipes as well because obsidian pipes are really cool for later on where... Uh, it's, it's, it's re they're really cool to get sort of a whole sort of automated um, pulverizing and smelting thing because usually when you try and so say I want to pump in all this ore into the pulverizer to turn it into a load of dust um, if, if 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 there's like a if if I start want to start pump silver ore in and it comes down into here it'll just pop out the top but what an obsidian pipe does is uh, sucks in any sort of ejected ores and then sort of puts them around a system or puts them back into this box to be resucked in uh, and then the same thing happens with the furnace where if if it starts uh, sending uh, materials into here which you don't want it to it will suck it up put it, put it sort of put it around in the system keep sucking it up so. That's something I really want to do. So what I need to do is if I want to dismantle this bat box here, what I want is my wrench because... Ah! Jesus Christ, zombie, you scared the absolute bejesus out of me. Die! Right, you're dead. That's for trying to break into my uh, break into my house. You know what? So this doesn't happen again. Oh, what? There are monsters nearby. That's blooming typical. Um, so yeah, where was I? Yes, I want to... Pick up, pick up my uh, bat box. You see, uh, this is this isn't technically the best thing to do this with because uh, I should use an electric wrench because there's a very slight chance that you can actually break your machine by doing this, but it should be fine. So let's uh, just smash all these pipes to bits. Redstone engines, you can just smash it with a pickaxe because uh, they're they're build craft, so they don't they're not quite as sort of fiddly as industrial craft, which does require. Uh, you to use a sort of a wrench to a proper tool to dismantle machines. So smash up all these pipes again. Build craft, so uh, no need to worry about uh, breaking things. And the cool thing about the pulverizer is that when it macerates ores, it actually produces these uh, sort of secondary products. So I actually had to create a chest to uh, pump these uh, secondary products into. So now, if I smash up 
this? Is it going to turn into a pulverizer or is it just going to break into some kind of block? It's a risk I'll have to take. It's a pulverizer. Woo! Pick up my sterling engine. Smash you up. Get okay, my redstone engine. I'll leave my ore's chest there for a second. I'll move that around in a in a in a in a blah, 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 in a jiffy. So that's the word I'm looking for. Uh, what I want to make is a ch is a chest to replace that one while I'm moving things around. So oh no, I want a bit more than that. I want to make be able to make um these two a, a double chest. Oh, I just realised I've got a crafting table down at the moment. So let's dump a crafting table down here. Make a couple of chests. There we are. What I will do at some point is start making like iron chests and gold chests, uh, which are sort of they're, they're the same size as an individual chest, but they hold like more, the same as or more than a large chest, so they take up less space but do hold more, uh, more items. So let's uh, drop down a wooden transport pipe here. Uh, let's go grab my geothermal generator. I'm going to need that. Where are you? There you are. Because I'm going to want to put him in the corner somewhere. So I can put sort of lay pipes underneath the floor to um, power power some of my machines. Um, where should I put him? I might put him here and then sort of route these pipes uh, over, over the top over, over the top of him. Let's replace that there. So let's get some cobblestone transport pipes to start out with. So let's route this over the top of my geothermal generator. Again, let's smash down that and replace it with that. So then I can then place my pulverizer. Um, actually, let's place my pulverizer here. So blue blue input there. So I want my red input to go this way, which will then go towards my electric furnace. Um, I will probably end up uh, fiddling around with this because what I really want to do is actually, like I said, put down some obsidian pipes to suck things up. So I have to try and figure this out as I go along. Um, so this will then come into my electric furnace. So here, say, or does it have to go in the top? No, it has to go in the top, doesn't it? Uh, here we go. It goes in the top. So then what I need to do is to get the um, obsidian pipe in the right place is no I want I want my obsidian pipes behind let's uh, suckle them up again re-pick up my electric furnace where'd it go there it is so let's drop my electric furnace down here say no that's too that's that's I want it one more over to make things a bit easier on myself so let's drop my electric furnace there so then I can build my cobblestone pipe up like this. Then what I want to do is, you have to have your obsidian pipe within a certain distance. So I th I'm thinking, uh, nope, that's not going to work. Basically because uh, it's too close to one of the other pipes. This is going to be more complicated than I uh, than I remembered. <laughs> um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Maybe put it on the other side. Hang on. So obsidian pipe can go there, and then what I want is uh, some, not stone, I want iron transport pipes, and stone transport pipes, which, uh, yep, I do have some stone transport pipes already. So then let's get these going up like this, around the top, nope, that's not right. See, look, the obsidian pipe sucked it up and it's about to chuck it out the end. Just realised I could probably... Uh, nope, I do need to go around the top. So where's that iron iron transport pipe? So the iron transport pipe basically only when when you said it, it only allows um, things to go in one direction. I will need to double check that in a minute. I think uh, I'm gonna need. How do I make? I need to make a make, need to need to make a build craft wrench. Because I have an industrial craft wrench, which is that one there, but I also need to make a build craft wrench. So I either need a stone gear and iron or a load of bronze. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do is make a stone stone gear with some iron. Oh, it's uh, got a bit funny. There we go. I just saw that out. So I need to make a stone gear. I need some wood and some cobblestone, which apparently I don't have. Uh, let's make let's, let's make some bronze. <laughs> So I need uh, some copper and some tin. 
How many do I need? Uh, blah, 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 blah. One, two, three, four. So I need four of you. Yep, that's uh, that's about right. And then I need obviously three three copper to one tin to make some bronze. So where's my crafting table gone? There we go. So oh no. So three like that. Oh, no, I need four, don't I? There we go. Let's get some bronze. Oh, I made eight. Oh yeah, of course. So that's made a build craft wrench, which I'll need in a second. Uh, where was I? Yes. So I need a uh, blah, 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 blah. need. I'm going to need a obsidian pipe next to. Let's get a piece of wood. I'm gonna need a obsidian pipe next to my pulverizer. Stone transport pipe. Oh no. Because that will suck up things where it's not supposed to go in, so I will reroute this. That's not what I want, because it's, it's uh, too much out in the open. So let's go up like this. Because uh, they're stone and cobblestone, they basically go next to each other, which I've just suddenly realised that I uh, can't do. Get out of my way. Ah! Skeleton! Why are you burning? It's daylight. There we go, now he's, now he's burning. Oh, Christ. More spiders. Attack of the spiders. So many of them. Do, 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 do. I'll just fight them off. It's cool. It's cool. Come here. I oh, know, you're, you're, you're non-hostile. That's cool. Let's just go grab myself a bit more uh, cobblestone. There's another skeleton there, just taking taking, taking shelter underneath uh, my sort of my roof, which I finally finished for my... Uh, that took me ages to get enough cobblestone to finish the roof for my... my my sort of little my little shack. So let's run back in here. Uh, what I'm going to need to do is to smelt up. Uh, so I need a furnace quick. Just drop that down there. I've got any? Have I got any? Yeah, I do have some coal. I do not want to drop that. So let's uh, drop a piece of coal in there. Then uh, cook that up to make some more stone pipes in a second. My inventory is getting very very cluttered here. So let's drop you 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 and you in there. Um, let's drop you in there for now. I seem to have a lot of random guff on me, which is quite annoying. I think this is good. I think this is going to work though. I hope. Uh, I will replace. But to get these um, obsidian pipes working properly, you need to put an en a redstone engine beneath them, which I will just basically replace that wood there with a redstone engine once I'm ready. Hopefully, that stone will be cooked, so I can actually make some more stone pipes. Let's just wait for this one last one to do. There we are. I need some glass. One, two. Should make enough. Uh, where's my crafting table? There it is. There we are. Some more stone pipes. Oh, just chuck that away. Apparently, I didn't make an. Uh, apparently, I didn't actually do that properly. But never mind. There we are. And see, so if uh, something goes into there, it should get sucked into there, move its way back around. Um, what am I looking for? Uh. Yes, so this is almost all set up. What I do need to do next is to actually build some cabling, which will go from my geothermal generator to my uh, electric furnace. If I get all the way here. I'll relay all this uh, wood, wood flooring down in a second to make sure I can get all the way to my geothermal generator. Almost there. Uh, not my geothermal generator. My electric furnace, which that should do it. Let's get out of here quick. I need some uh, need some more cables. I think I've only got two, which is nowhere near enough to uh, lay it all the way to to my electric furnace. There. Doo -doo 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 -doo. That will probably not be enough either. So what I really need is some more rubber, some copper. One, two, three, four, five, six. That should be enough. Let's make some cables. Oh no, wrong thing. That's a crafting table. I only want two there. Yeah, one, two, one, two, one, two, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. There we are. Lots of cables now. There's a skeleton just hanging around, like underneath my sort of. <laughs> it's going to get very annoying very quickly. So this should now come down here. Oh, hang on. Let me let me try and relay some of this uh, flooring as as I go. Here we go. Just uh, make make things easier. I'm trying to tidy it up in a second. 
Oh god. I'm stuck. Let's destroy that cable quick. And you go here into you. Marvellous. Looking good already. Oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck! I can get out there. That's fine. It's fine. I'm cool. So my geothermal generator should now be hooked up to there. So let's grab some uh, lava cells. I've got, got some handy in my pack here. No, I don't. Oh, no, I put them all away, didn't I? Haha! <laughs> got 50. That should be loads. Oh, no! I've hooked it straight up to there, but what I really wanted to do was put a bat box in. No! Um... So uh, this is uh, going to be slightly, slightly more complicated than I uh, than I remembered, than I envisioned even. So let's replace all that. Ah, I'm stuck. It's not good. There we go. I'm out. I'm out. Um, yeah, let's uh, replace some some of this dirt. So then, what I really want to do is just put a bat box down next to 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 him oh no that's not what I wanted put bat box down then um, I want my wrench change you to you and then that's now the output and then I can get out hopefully may probably not I'm pr I'm now probably stuck in here great let's uh, destroy destroy a couple of these pipes quickly so I can actually get out. Where's my wood? Got wood? I got wood. So then I can re repair this back up again. So now now my geothermal generator is hooked up to my bat box which is hooked up to the system. Where's my cobblestone pipes? That's what I want. Cobblestone transport pipes. Uh, and then I can replace you like that. Let's uh, put, put a couple of uh, Lava cells in there. Fill it up. Come on. There we go. That's pretty much full. Is that uh, fill yep, it's filling up my bat box, which in turn is powering my electric furnace. It's all going well so far. Oh Christ, that didn't mean to do that. Never mind. Let's grab a couple of redstone engines. Because I need to put one under you and one under you. Let's power them. And I just realised I also need some levers, which I did make earlier as well. Yeah, this is a problem when you play playing like mod pack like this. Your inventory goes crazy very quickly when you're running around trying to do complex systems like this. So that's powering that. I need a redstone engine there. With you oh no, that's not the best place. Why well, want it on the wall there? So you're powering that, which should then suck things up. It's all going well so far. The real test will be to see if the uh, the whole system works. So uh, let me just dump some dump some gu guff quick. So you can all go in there like this, and then let's dump a load of pipes and other fancy gubbins in here like this. Or oh, what I really want is my wrench in a second. So you can all go in there. So let's grab some ores. And then to try this out, what I really want to do is sort of uh, do like. Um, Am I missing something? Yeah, I'm missing all my copper ore, I think. Did I dump stuff? Yeah, I dumped some in there as well. Uh, so what? Ha let's so let's try like four four of that, three of that, and two of that, and then just sort of put the rest in in the correct order. Because what I want to try out, see if this whole system works by sucking things around in the correct order. So that will start sucking out there. You're pumping there. Uh, oh. Christ, I never actually made a, uh, a pipe to come out of there to suck in... Oh, never mind. It should be fine. Basically, it will get sucked up by there, and... Mm, that's not going to work. Quick, find me some stone... Find me some stone pipes. Where are they? I'm going to want to... I'm going to want to have those ores go somewhere somewhere else. Uh, I just realised that I made some... Well, I didn't make enough, so... I need you, and I need you... Glass, stone, stone, marvellous. Now I have 11. Oh no, that's not what I wanted. Let's put you there. Uh, where do I want this to go? I, I have no idea. Possibly to meet up 
with this system here. Yes, uh, I think. Yeah, basically that can't go up to the. Is that right? I'll, 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 that, I'll see how that works in a second because I can't remember which way around it is. Basically, these sort of bars basically mean it can't go one way, so it will go up to a certain point and go, oh no, sorry, I can't go that way and go back the way it came. That apparently isn't working at the moment because that is sucking out that way, which is not what I intended. So, uh, it's my obsidian pipe is not, not working here, annoyingly. Let's close you off because this isn't working. Because I've got my obsidian pipe in the wrong direction because it's deciding to chuck things out in this direction. Uh, <laughs> so uh, I'm going to leave the video there because I'm going to need to fix this, which will take far longer than probably what is comfortably time to make a video for. So uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, hopefully I'll have this system working, like this whole automated system working for the next time uh, I have a video ready for you. Thanks for watching. Uh, please comment on videos to let me know what you liked, what you didn't like, what you think I can do differently. If you did like my videos, please like, possibly even favorite them. And if you want to see more of my content in the future, please subscribe to my channel. And again, thanks for watching, everybody. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.